Hi, my name is Lisa Furtick and I'd like to welcome you to my studio here in Northrop King Building in Northeast Minneapolis. I've been here for a couple of years now. And um, my body of work consists of watercolor and acrylic paintings. I have um, two distinct styles. Um, my watercolor comes from more of the outside environment. I usually take a lot of references of my art or my, um, my scenery and then I uh, paint it. And my abstracts are more acrylic uh, work comes from more within. It's more of a layering process that I just um, achieved through a process of removing layers of paint and adding layers of paint. My watercolor, I love the um, transparency of the medium that you can achieve, uh, whereas with my acrylics, I love the textural effects that you can achieve with the acrylic paint. And um, you never quite know what's going to be happening with the watercolor paints. It's more of a um, um, a trial and error. Watercolor is a very uh, unforgiving medium where I have much more freedom with my acrylics thinking that I can continue the process for as long as I want and still get um, a clarity of paints and the design that I'm aiming for. I started painting at the age of eight. I've um, had a real strong desire at that time to create artwork. Received my first oil, uh, oil sets at eight and um, through the years I've studied with um, different instructors and I attended the uh, American Academy of Arts in Chicago, Illinois for a couple of years and I went to the University of Minnesota and studied art there also. I think my largest growth period is when I uh, finally decided about seven years ago to pursue this full time by entering um, uh, doing art fairs and entering artwork into different galleries um, throughout the country and just um, sort of focusing on this as a full-time job um, seemed to really enhance and I saw a lot of growth in my work at that time mainly because I think I was just spending so much more time doing it. It really helps to be disciplined and to, to paint as much as you can. At several art fairs when people have looked at my entire body of work, I've had a couple people ask if I've been schizophrenic, and my initial reaction is, well, I don't think I am. And then I um, sort of began to analyze my own work, thinking, uh, because I have such a wide range of work, and I'm very prolific, they're very surprised that I can, can produce and do such a wide range of work. But the more I think about it, I think it is an asset to my, my career that I get a lot of commissions in both my abstract and my realistic work, which I think is to my, you know, an asset to me. I would just like to share with you a couple of my pieces of work. Um, this one is a uh, acrylic on paper, and if um, you can get a close-up, you can see how with the acrylic paints you can achieve such wonderful textural effects. I started this out um, with gauze, and you can sort of see the imprint on the paper where the gauze was. And then once that was dried, I removed it. And um, the acrylics I've done through a layering process of paint uh, with applying one color over the whole sheet of paper and then removing sections of it to let the underneath layer come through. And it's sort of that process of building up the painting. And then more of the finishing up techniques are more of the line work and um, just showing a little bit more of the detail. Um, this versus my uh, watercolors on paper are more of a um, realistic interpretation of a scene that I've seen in nature. This was up in Grand Marais. Um, this one is of Lake Superior. And I, I just really enjoy the transparency of the medium that you can achieve with watercolor. Well, now that you've um, had a little taste of my artwork, I hope that I can um, see you in person one day and feel free to um, join us on our first Thursdays of every month or we also have two major art events uh, per year or you can also check uh, my website to see what art fairs or galleries that I uh, will be um, attending and um, if you have any questions please feel free to contact me on my website.